Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to more family-friendly gaming with Soap the Great. You can see, based on what is in front of me, where we are. That's right, my jungle island. Yes, we are back on the jungle island and this is primarily to... Oh, I see I've got an audience. No? Oh, yeah, there we go. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Alright, well, we are here today to hand off a little bit of a question that uh, we tend to get if we spend too much time in some other series. And as many of you know, I have been on the Hypermind server, kind of getting used to things there, getting my feet under me, as it were. And uh, this this series right here has taken a bit of a back seat, but we're gonna talk about that, all right? So while we're talking about that, I'm going to show you some projects that are as yet unfinished. And uh, the reason I'm going to be doing that is because I have come to a very difficult decision with this map. Now, when working on the application for Hypermine, I did come to the idea that I would be... Oh, there's my snowman. Aha, uh -huh, that's where I got the snow blocks from. Forgot about that. Um, I... Uh, I came to the decision that I would be focusing my vanilla content on the Hypermine server. And so that means that even here has taken a backseat to Hypermine, okay? And uh, the, the astute amongst you might, uh, might have caught the particular caveat as well. The reason we're coming down here is because I'm going to show you a little something that I've hinted at and never, never really showed you. See, we've got a skeleton spawner right here. And then if we go down this hallway right here, you can see it, a zombie spawner. Both of those are the so-called undead mobs. And if you stand right here, you can see that we've got that one spinning and that one spinning. And so we could have the potential for a dual dungeon XP grinder right here. We are not going to be building this, folks. Nope, because I have come to the decision that we are going to be stopping the Jungle Island Adventures series. And yes, that is, it's not something I entered into lightly. It's not a decision that um, is rash. It is because I want to focus my vanilla content on the Hypermind server. And with the 1.9 updates, the snapshots that are coming out, it is looking like some things are going to be broken, okay? In particular, item elevators, as I have been doing them, were based on a bug, a rather uh, rather big bug that caused a number of issues. They've, Mo Yang have been working around the, um, the implications of that, showing off different things, and, um, and, and they never really got to the source of it. Well, they finally got to the source of it, and it fixed a number of issues that were showing up. So we're not going to be naming our tower either. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go over to the desert area as well to show you something else that we are not going to be getting to. Um, and over there is a... Um, Another fortress that we will not be updating to a new Wither Skeleton farm. And then also the Blaze farm is going to remain broken. There is another Blaze spawner over there that I've covered in Netherrack. We are not going to be working on that. So this is really just a kind of an update of what is not going to be done. Hello, guys. You can see a blaze spawner over there as well. We've got a pigman hanging out with me right here. We're going to go into the nether hub and get to my desert area as well. Now, with 1.9, it's looking like item elevators are going to break. I don't know if they're going to fix the duplication bug that's over there. But, uh, you know, you never know. They might get to it. They are working on boats as well. But because of the item elevator thing, I really don't want to have to come back and fix things, especially right here. Also, you may note a couple episodes ago, we went and found a dual witch farm, or dual witch hut, excuse me, that we are not going to be turning into a witch farm, okay? So uh, 
yeah, there's there's a lot of stuff that is not going to be done, and um, yeah, I I just don't want to have to come back and redo some of the stuff that's in here. Now it's not a problem to do that, okay? So some people would would be fine with that. You know, Etho has had his his uh, single player world going for quite some time, and he has a lot of stuff that is broken in it, and 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 he fares just fine. He just goes back and fixes it. I'm not going to be doing that. My focus for vanilla is going to be on Hypermine. All right, so the next thing that I want to do real quick is show you something else down here. I covered over the main cave entrances. So let's see about going into um, the spectator mode. Game mode three, let's see, is it going to allow me? Yes, it does. All right, so let's come down here real quick and we're just going to go in to spectator mode let's take a look you see this right here yeah this is a cave spider spawner this is another cave spider spawner and this is a cave spider spawner and if you've been following me on twitter you would have seen a screenshot with all three of those that's a little hint I do occasionally show screenshots of things that I'm working on both here and in my creative testing world. But uh, yeah, if you come here, you can actually activate all of the spider spawners. And so we've got a triple K spider spawner that we're not going to be turning into a spider farm. So now the astute amongst you will have noted that I said I'm going to be focusing my vanilla content on Hypermine. Okay, what does that mean? That means that I am giving serious consideration. Uh, let's see, which one is this? Survival, there we go. I'm giving serious consideration to a modded series. In fact, I'm not just giving serious consideration for it. I want to do a single player modded series. Yes, all right? And so that is going to be what we do our single player stuff in. That's where I'm going to get modded onto the channel. And so I need your help. I would like to know what mods or mod packs you might like to see. Okay. Now, I do enjoy building. I enjoy redstone and automation. And I enjoy an occasional adventure. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm going to be looking for mod packs. It's going to be a little bit before we actually settle down on one. But if you would, please, in the description, or not the description box, in the comment section down below there, let me know what mod packs would you like to see. And, uh, and, and we'll see, you know. And maybe, maybe I come up with my own custom mod pack. Who knows? But um, what, what mods would you like to see me try out, okay? Now... Um, anything beyond that? No, I don't think so. Um, I think we covered pretty much all I wanted to. So, yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is goodbye to Jungle Island Adventures. And again, it's a hard decision, and it did not come easily, but really I just I can't focus on two vanillas at, uh, at the same time, especially with the builds that I have planned for the Hypermind server. So do go check that series out if you haven't already. A lot of big stuff happening there, a lot more collabs as well. And uh, so I, I would suggest doing that. And I'm going to put a card for that on the screen probably earlier in this video. But, uh, but there we go. Um, so if you've been wondering why I haven't been on here, it's because I've been kind of thinking about that. So Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you have enjoyed Jungle Island Adventures overall. We've gotten some big stuff done and uh, had a lot of fun in the process. Um, got a ghast hanging out somewhere around here. I don't know where he is. A lot of fun and, uh, you know, some pretty cool builds. I, I really enjoyed this sphere and what I wanted to do. I mentioned a while back about some TNT that I had had planned over here. I haven't placed that at all. Multiple stacks. I was going to take out that whole mountain. Take out all the nether rack all the way around this sphere and just have like a, a nether brick pillar extending out and around this sphere of glass from the lava below. 
that is not going to happen. No, we are going to say goodbye. And uh, so do let me know what your thoughts are. Do you want to see? I really, I want to try my hand at modded. And I know some of you really want to see me do modded. So I'd like to see your your ideas on which mod packs and mods to try. But that's going to be it for now. Hopefully you've enjoyed this installment of Family Friendly Gaming with Soap the Great. Again, if I'm not comfortable sharing it with my kids, I'm not going to share it with you. And stay tuned for what adventures might lie ahead with single player. And uh, you can find the final, final world download in the description box below. If you want to just poke around and see what's here. But uh, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.